I've been, uh, I was hollered to give an introduction that I wasn't prepared for, but it's actually pretty easy. I have to give an introduction to someone who doesn't need an introduction to do a pretty easy job. So, uh, my name is Tom Scarangello, and I'm Chairman and CEO of Code and Time Study. Um, so, um, T.S. Levy is someone uh, that I've known um, for a limited amount of time. I've known him as, obviously as an icon in our industry. But if on a personal level, um, I've only interacted with him on different projects and different opportunities um, in a limited amount of over my career, which is about 35 years uh, uh, in uh, New York and around the world. But like many of you, um, I think it all started probably in undergraduate school, uh, reading Why Buildings Stand Up, Why Buildings Fall Down, and, and a series of other books that that um, Matthias was either the first book you were the illustrator for with uh, Mario right. Salvadori, if I recall, and the second book you were a co-author. Um, in addition to that, um, you know, having spent a lot of my career doing long span structures, uh, I always admired the, the, the work uh, and the ingenuity and the innovation that Matthias brought to our industry um, at a time when, in all honesty, the, the uh, industry was, was starting to go in the direction of not being innovative. In the early, in the 50s and 60s, there was a lot of interesting long-span systems that were being looked at, and then it seemed to get pretty cookie-cutter. I think with the introduction of the Tensegrity system and other, and other innovations, uh, Matt and his group took it uh, to another level. Um, what's exciting for me now is that as of last September, uh, Weidlinger, the firm that Matt has, has uh, worked with for years, merged with Thornton Tomasetti, and today uh, we're 1,200 strong, uh, and uh, Matt is uh, now part of our history as we combined our history, history uh, of the two firms. Uh, so with that as a little bit of background, Matt's going to get actually the, the, the story of uh, innovation is actually also the, a lot of the history of our industry and the history of engineering as well, at least in the last 50 years. So without introduce Matt. Thank you. 